frustration. I don't take it too seriously. Don't take it too seriously. Say we are frustrating to the Himeshi, the Buddha, and so forth. So the basic idea is is like say we we tend to have the tendency to keep the photos of our parents to keep the parents the the photos of your near and dear ones your children and so forth so it's through this picture it reminds you of the the people who are very close to you likewise through these of course, there are deeper the significance, deeper meanings, which uh, we will learn later. But as of now, um, these are like the, the pictures, the pictures which encountering with which reminds us of the incredibly great qualities of the imagined beings like perfect love, perfect knowledge, and perfect power uh, with which we are being helped today. And then from the study of the Wisdom of Antilles, which we're going to do, from there we see that this is so precious and um, making prostration is a gesture of our showing respect. So the human psychology has said, human psyche is such that it's designed in such that um, when we have fondness, we tend to show affinity and respect. So the more we show respect, the more we tend to create the receptivity to what these great enlightened beings symbolize. And the great enlightened beings, what they symbolize is three qualities, perfect love, perfect knowledge, and perfect power. So these, as we, as we respect more, show more respect, our psyche is designed in such a way to open up ourselves to receive the the best of the, the qualities the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas they, they embody. So it is for this reason that we make, make prostrations. It is not that we are making prostrations to just a piece of cloth or a piece of the, the metal or a piece of stone like this, but it's just uh, making prostrations to those beings which are symbolized by these figures. Okay, this is how we're going to do, make the prostrations together. And as we make prostrations, don't forget to, this is a great time for us. So um, all of us to try to transcend the ordinary people's thinking. And the ordinary people's thinking, so what brought us is it only brings miseries on us. So now we, from the, the next three days, we're going to um, attempt to revolutionize our thinking, to revolutionize, to revolutionize our thinking to the extent that what are ordinary thinking, like uh, say, uh, oh, my parents are very difficult, this person is very difficult. So these are all the ordinary people's thinking. So where some little conflict happens with you, on that basis, you seem to discard the other person. This is the ordinary people's thinking. And this is what even the cats, dogs, even the animals, they know how to do. So now we're going to transcend these things where eventually we will look up to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the great embodiment. So for him, you see that there's no one who is really his enemies, although others may treat him as their enemy, but for in his mind, he has transcended those things. So this is what we are trying to do. Okay, with that in mind, as we make prostrations, as we make prostrations, uh, just bring in your mind your two parents. As I said earlier, you may have difficulty with your parents. It doesn't matter. So let us see how we, to transcend the ordinary people's thinking, make, uh, bring two of them there with you, all of family members, and particularly the difficult people, bring them with you to make prostrations and to give them the chance to take part in this kind of ceremony, one. Then after this, we're gonna make uh, the offer lights. So exactly the next three day, days that we're gonna to do together is gonna to be on <coughs> igniting knowing that all the problems that we have even say for example early morning you you get up and you feel a little mentally like, tired or mentally heavy and so forth so they believe it or not 
all these metal problems, they're somehow connected with the misperception of the reality, ignorance, misperception of reality. And the three days we're going to dedicate it to how to eradicate this misperception. How to eradicate this misperception. So that way, misperception is ignorance. Ignorance is like darkness. In dark, we don't see anything. And because of which, we end up banging against the wall, we falling off the cliff, and so forth. <coughs> so to eradicate this problem, we have to remove the darkness, dispel the darkness. And the darkness of ignorance can best be eradicated through introducing the light of the wisdom. So this light, which we, each one of us we are offering, is symbolic of igniting the light of the wisdom to dispel the darkness of the ignorance. So that not only you, we will, if you really get a glimpse of emptiness, which we're going to study here, we will be so confident that all others, whoever, are, whoever is difficult, difficult towards you, you find them difficult, you see that, oh, they really deserve your maximum compassion. Because they become difficult all because of their ignorance, all because of their being in darkness. Had it been the case that I'm in this dark, dark situation, I would also behave in the same way. And now that they are in dark, they behave in this way. This is how the mind behaves. So it is my responsibility. If I don't want to see them as difficult people, it is my responsibility to remove their darkness and then see how they behave. Then you see that they behave very differently as like a very affectionate very kind, very affectionate uh, beings to you. So this is what we, we uh, what we are going to do, uh, be to be mindful of as we uh, light the lamps after the meat frustrations. So this, and as we light the lamps, keep in mind that everyone, all sentient beings, are with you. Okay, with that in mind, three frustrations. Is that we come to light the lamps as we everybody has this. okay everybody has this piece of mantra in the prayer book okay, so, so that we're going to say together okay if possible but make it as quick as possible because um, there are a number of people we may lose our time in the process and everybody can uh, chant the mantra while we are chanting. With for his hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our shoes to shine the lamp of our mouth for all the mysteries glow. With for his hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our shoes to shine the lamp of our mouth for all the mysteries glow. With for his hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our shoes to shine the lamp of our mouth for all the mysteries glow. With for his hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our shoes to shine the lamp of our mouth for all the mysteries glow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our ashes to shine the Lamb of Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries glow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our ashes to shine the Lamb of Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries glow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our ashes to shine the Lamb of Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries glow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our ashes to shine the Lamb of Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries glow. With all the hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the rations to shine the Amal Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries to grow. With all the hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the rations to shine the Amal Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries to grow. With all the hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the rations to shine the Amal Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries to grow. With all the hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the rations to shine the Amal Dharma for all the Buddhist ministries to grow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our ashes to shine the Lamb of Dharma for all the good and mysterious glow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the good and mysterious glow. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all our ashes to shine the Lamb of Dharma. 
With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Russians to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Russians to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Russians to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this place. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this place. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this place. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the living in this world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the living in this world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the living in this world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the living in this world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich globe. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this rich world. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all the Rashis to chant the Lamb of Dharma for all the good in this world.